I'm Councillor John Lamb, Mayor of South End on Sea. My father was in fact fighting out in Burma between 1941 and eventually he came home in 1946. I'm very lucky to be here because of the fact that I was born in 1948. And so if he hadn't have come home, I wouldn't have been here today. And back in 1941, when Dad was shipped out to India, he then came under General Slim and they were pushed to go and meet the Japanese forces in Burma and to try and take Burma back. And they went through the Arakan, which is part of Burma, and there they got stopped and had to be retreated into India but in fact on that retreat the Japanese were in very large numbers cut them off and they actually divided them and they had to fight their way back and mum got a telegram saying that my father was missing in action because they all they knew they'd been cut off they didn't know whether he was dead wounded or anything else so they were fighting their way back to uh, the British lines to rejoin back in India. And with that, they had to form each day uh, what they called the admin box, which had the infantry on the outside. Uh, and so it went back with the mortars, machine guns, mortars and so on, uh, and the admin people with the hospital and the injured and wounded in the middle. My father was on the artillery. So he was more in the middle, but they eventually the Japanese in his admin box broke through and got into the hospital where the doctors, nurses and the uh, wounded were in the hospital. And remembering, of course, the hospital we're talking about is not a big brick built thing. These were tents that were put up because they all had to be movable. And therefore they got in and they shot, killed and bayoneted or doctors and nurses, as well as the wounded. They eventually, my father and all those fought and got the Japanese out and they did get back to their own lines and they held the Japanese. And from there, you know, they had to wait until they were ready because they were then sent to the Battle of Imphal up in uh, uh, India and Burma. And from Bur Imphal, they were sent on to the Battle of Kohima, where there had been fierce fighting with the Royal West Kents, uh, and there was a lot of hand to hand fighting, a lot of bloody uh, fighting all the way through there. Uh, and the Japanese were a very fierce soldier, but our people, especially with the Sikhs, Gurkhas, the Punjabis, and a number of other Indian regiments and our British soldiers, fought back and they beat them at Imphal and again they beat them at Kohima and eventually they got through but luckily my father stayed alive and mum got a telegram to say he was back there but my daughter my sister was born in 1942 uh, as dad was on his way out to India well he was out there then uh, but um, literally he never saw her until he come home in 1946 so she was four years old when he actually got home. And of course, all she did know was mum told her, this is your dad, she'd never seen him. So those are the sorts of things that used to happen to service personnel in those days. They weren't small engagement, you were off for a long actual time. And of course, as I say, dad went through him and a very good friend who had joined up in 39 and they'd gone through the whole of the war Unfortunately, when they fought their way back into Burma and were getting to Rangoon, his friend, best friend, got shot and killed just a week before the end of the war. And that's the sad thing about some of the things that happened.